Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be starting off with a plastic corrugated sheet. And I got this from Michael's Craft Store. I'm using this because it's transparent and I'm going to be making a floor lamp. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw out circles that I'll need for the project. This is not clear enough because I'm using plastic and the pencil is not colored, so I apologize for that. I've drawn out five circles in total. Now I'm going to carve them out from the board. Before I go any further, this is a requested video and here's a picture that's going to guide me throughout the project. I'll be using a dowel that I got from Walmart that I spray painted silver. I'll be tracing this out in the middle. And then the little circle that I'm going to have in the middle will be carved out with an X-Acto knife. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I did the same thing for all the other boards. I'll be using garland beads for this project and I'll be reducing them to the length that I want before attaching them. I use two packs of garland beads and in each pack they have smaller packs that are like this that have singular long garland beads. The link for this is going to be down in the description box below. Because I'm working with plastic, I'm going to be using a soldering iron to make the holes. If you want to attempt this project and you're not comfortable using this, please ask for help. Now, because this is a corrugated board, I was attaching the beads at the bottom and not from the top, but at the bottom. I attached all the beads to all the round boards and then now I'm going to go ahead and insert the dowel. I actually reduced the length of the dowel for this project. After the first one goes in, I'm going to be making something like a stopper using twine and hot glue. This will make it stay in position. Now the second one is going to be inserted and before I make the stopper at the bottom, I'm going to measure 8 inches because I want all the boards to be 8 inches apart.
as I was doing this, I made sure the boards move freely. And then after I'm sure of where I want the boards to be, I will then glue them from the top. I'm done inserting all the boards. The next thing will be to attach the hook. Now this is a coat hook that I'm going to use. Now you can also use a cup hook, but I didn't have a bigger cup hook. And because of the weight of what I've just made, I decided to just go with the coat hook. I'll be using these push lights that use a remote that I got from Walmart and it also comes with batteries. I'm going to use this for the project and they're super easy to turn them on and off. I need a strong and sturdy support for the floor lamp. So what I did was to go through a thrift store and look for floor lamps that are either faulty or super cheap. Now I got these two and they're okay, but I prefer this one because it already has an arm. All I did was to cut the wire that's at the top and at the bottom. And then after that, I cleaned it properly. This is the spray paint that I used and it's sterling silver. It leaves a nice mirror shiny surface when the spray paint is dried. And look, you can even see a little bit of me. <laughs> I'll be using these tiny mirrors to decorate some parts of the lamp. Now, isn't this a quick and easy floor lamp? And it's also one of a kind. To make the boards properly balanced and for more lighting, I got two more packs of the remote controlled lighting. You can change the colors, but I'm kind of not satisfied with the way the top of the boards look. They look kind of bare. So what I did was to cover a poster board with mirror reflective paper and then I cut out the sizes that I need. Now instead of having them fully up on all the boards, I decided to just make smaller rings. And with these rings, I'm just going to glue them to the sides so that I can still have light passing through the boards. Now here's what it looks like. Like I said earlier, this is so unique and it's so pretty and also adds a wow factor to any space. I used three push lights for each board, except for the second to the last one where I used two push lights and then the last little one at the bottom where I used just one push light. The cool thing about this is that you can change the position with ease. The lounge chair that you see there is another DIY of mine and I will leave a link for that down in the description box below. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. 